bundle up. Ready, Bob? No. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, our next guest is an award-winning author best known for his fantasy novels, but his latest work is a nonfiction book called Lo Love Long Live Glossers. Oh my yes. goodness, Bob, sorry about that. <laughs> Long Live Glossers, which looks at the history of the beloved Glosser Brothers department store in Johnstown. Author Robert Deshonic is back to talk about the latest book. Hello, Bob. Hi, it's so good to be here. I know, I was just saying, how long has it been? Way I know, too long. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know last time I think it was uh, Christmas at Glossers that you mm. were talking about on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and you've been hard at work at this one. Oh, I sure have. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this one has taken many, many months because mm -hmm. it's a big, thick book and it's about the whole history of a store that existed for many decades in the Johnstown area. And actually beyond that, it actually became a multi-million dollar company as well. Wow. Well, this is the book. It is pretty thick here. We have it behind us. Mm -hmm. and it's very cool. It just oh, has that you. nostalgic look to it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I can't wait to hear about it. So fill thank us in. You. What do you got in there? Thanks. Well, like I said, it's the whole history of whole this store history. from the beginning. And essentially, Glosser Brothers Department Store was a, a, it started out as a very small store that was was built from nothing mm -hmm. and it opened first in 1906 and it grew through the years it became very important to the community much like Gabe's mm -hmm. right here in Altoona sure, yeah. and and then um, the company expanded and they started the GB stores mm. and actually there was a GB store ah, here in Altoona yeah, yeah. so um, they had 23 of those stores then they expanded further they had the dollar bargain store so it became a huge company at the height of it wow. hundreds of millions of dollars in sales per year I did not know that Yes, listed on the American Stock Exchange as well wow that's but really cool it closed 25 years ago mm -hmm. and the whole company went down shortly after that but people still love glossers, including myself. When mm -hmm. I was a little boy, I used to go there and shop with my grandparents and my parents, and I loved it. It was my favorite place. Yeah, and you've got some great pictures. I think we have some mm -hmm. uh, vid video to show yeah, right, of right. that, too. And, and this wow. book, uh, yeah, I mean, isn't that amazing? You, you have so many really cool things mm -hmm. here. Uh, so talk about some of the things we're seeing here and how you got you know these things in your book I mean that's okay. a lot of history that you're yeah. uh, digging up there well we, we made sure that we got advertisements from every decade from the 30s on the oh 1930s on that's from 1970 actually wow. that's from a Christmas book a Christmas ad book mm -hmm. and uh, and that's from I think the 60s or the late 50s but um, it was great we went around and we and that's the board of uh, directors at mm -hmm. one time sort of at the height of the company yeah and uh, anyway, so we went around and we collected things from different people. Those are the original Glosser brothers, three mm. of the four. Wow. We run, went around and collected items from the family mm -hmm. and from people who just loved Glossers, who had things stowed away in their attics and garages and basements, and we pulled it all together. And it was tough. It took so much work and so much time, but people were so generous yeah, with, with yeah. giving us their and things. The publication of this actually falls on a pretty significant anniversary, doesn't it? Yeah, this mm -hmm. is the 25th anniversary of the closing of the Glosser Brothers Department Store. Wow, in, 25 yeah, years. 1989 to 2014. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, you know, uh, we were talking before we did the segment, and I found this fascinating. Mm -hmm. that uh, it's kind of like a club all the people from Glossers are still getting together and you yeah. have some video of a tour I think that That's still right. you know goes on well this first of all this is from mm -hmm. the actual 25th anniversary date which was back in May mm -hmm. of this year ah. we did a photo shoot we gathered together over 70 of the employees of Glossers wow. these are members of the former advertising department for Glosser Brothers mm -hmm. for the, the store and the company we got them together they continue to get together on a regular basis they're really good friends and then this was what I call the Breakfast Club, which is a whole group of people. They get together for breakfast about once a month down at the Holiday Inn Harrigan's in downtown Johnstown. Mm. And we got them together again, and then this was back to that reunion. We took photos. We also shot video. There will be a video coming out also soon. I don't know if it will be immediately, mm -hmm. but hopefully in the next month or so. Yeah. So it was just great. Th these people still love the store. They love that it was this small town mentality and this friendliness and and that these the people who owned it would just reach out and try to help those around them and people knew it yeah this is kind mm -hmm. of unusual to have a companion video i think that's pretty cool it's a yeah, great thank idea thank you it's a big project yeah and and i really committed myself to telling the whole story from the beginning to the end mm -hmm. and i wanted to tell the story of the people who owned the store the people who worked at the store and the people who shopped at the store so i've got mm -hmm. everybody's stories in this book and this is one of the tours that we did of the building that used to be the Glosser Brothers Department Store. And this is one of the few places it still remains the same even oh today. Goodness. It's an old storage area. Wow. That building ha now has become a Cambria County complex mm. on the corner of Locust and um, Franklin Street in downtown Johnstown. And that's Fred Glosser. He's 90 years old. Wow. And he's still yeah, <laughs> incredible, very sharp. And he went around and he showed us 
what used to be in the different areas of the building. You know, and, that, and that's a restaurant that's down on the ground floor, and that used to be the main shopping area, the main display area of the oh, store. Wow, wow. So he was great. A lot of memories there. Yeah. You're having a big launch party, too. Uh, we real quick, are. tell us about that. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. It's on Saturday, November 22nd at Johnstown's Heyday Diner, mm -hmm. which is in the old Kentucky Fried Chicken on Main Street in downtown Johnstown. <laughs> and we're going to have it from 11 a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. We're going to have some of the Glosser Brothers celebrities there, including one of the old cool. Schaefer twins, ah. Ruby Schaefer. She's incredible. She's still <laughs> kicking, and she's still going to be serving ice cream. They're going to have some flashback ice cream prices oh, how fun. from the old days. And books are, will be on sale. You can get the books signed by the different celebrities and the author and the photographer, Philip Balco, as Very well. Cool, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that is great. Well, uh, we do have all the info for you on our website, uh, centralpatv.com, so you can go and check it out. And definitely do. It'll be fun. Bob, Thank you. you're awesome. Thanks Thank for you. having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And we still need to talk about that book that you're writing. Ah, uh, yes. One of these days. <laughs> Every time I'm here, you say you're working on it. Where's the book? It's in, it's in a work in progress. Okay, I'll meet you after the show. We need to discuss this. Okay. okay. We'll mm -hmm. be right back with Mids Candy. <laughs> Giving 